Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this late afternoon on Saturday to another session on engineering graphics with me, Yash Chawla from Parul Group of Institutes. Uh, I'm a lecturer in mechanical engineering department, and we are going to continue with our session, uh, which was going on last week, and we are going to see more projections of solid, solve one of the problems which are left over from last time, and also uh, continue with section of solids, uh, begin with section of solid, and uh, then move on and complete this unit today in the two hours that we have. The first session is from 3 to 5 and the next is from 4 to 5. So uh, we have this long session this weekend. Uh, okay, so let's first see that what we have in store today. As I already spoke of, we'll be having solved examples of projections of solids uh, with their axes inclined to one and two reference planes. And we'll have a variety of, uh, we'll have uh, one of the problems in which there will be variety of uh, positions according to the position of the observer. And then we are going to have sections of solid and we'll discuss a few problems uh, on sections of solid as well. Uh, moving on. The first problem is the problem which has been carried over from last time. Hexagonal pyramid of side 30 mm of uh, 30 mm side of base and 45 mm length of axis is resting on one of its triangular faces on HP. Draw the projections of pyramid when its edge of the base which is in HP is inclined at 60 degrees to VP. So if you remember this was one of the problems which we had uh, started to solve last time. Uh, so and the session came to an end. So what I would like to do is uh, I would like to begin uh, solving the problems uh, solving this problem from the beginning again uh, so that you will have a greater perspective of uh, what is there. Okay. So let's come to our tele top and let's see uh, begin solving this problem which we had big, uh, begun last time also. First of all, as we always do, I'll draw my line x, y. I'll draw my line x, y. And then uh, what's given to me is a hexagonal pyramid of uh, size 30 mm and base uh, 45 mm. Uh, 45 mm is my length of the axis. So what I will do is I will make a hexagon. I'll not uh, use the protectors so that we can save time. Uh, the side is 30 mm of a hexagon. So what we need is an hexagon which has a side 30 mm. So here we go. First of all, what I'll do, I'll just draw a side of 30 mm. And accordingly, again, I'll take an estimated angle. And this is a rough diagram and you should always follow a uh, more precise method of drawing the hexagon that is using your arc method. I'm just drawing it freehand so that I can save time because the concept uh, is more important here for you to understand. Hey, I'll just name them. A, B, C, D and uh, A, B, C, D, E, F uh, and now what I'll do is I will extend my projectors upwards. These are the points which are being projected on the vertical plane. So I'll just extend them upwards in this fashion and I will have three points which I'll show them in blue. Okay, just remember that this side is 30 mm. All dimensions are in mm, so kindly remember it. So these are the points, and now what I'll do is I'll mark these points. This is, as you can see, A and B are projected here, so this is A dash and B dash. C and F are being projected on this point, so it is C dash and F dash. E and D are being projected on this point. So it is E dash and D dash and uh, one thing that we did not do was to make contact these lines because the center these lines would be visible because it is a pyramid. These are visible lines when we see from the top and this is my center which is O. This is my center which is O which is actually the top uh, tip of the pyramid so 
now what i'll do is so central axis the height of the length of the axis is 45 mm so i'll just extend the axis line upwards and then mark 4.5 mm on the axis which comes somewhere here this is marked as o dash this is the top view of the pyramid and this is my front view of the pyramid that i am drawing the considering that this all thing is in the first quadrant that's why my top view uh, comes below line xy and my front view is coming above the line xy and as it is lying its base is lying on hp that is the reason why uh, these points have come on line xy instead of uh, going other way around or going above uh, the line xy okay the next thing that it's uh, saying is that its triangular face is one of its triangular faces is uh, resting on hp so what the thing is saying that if we consider one of the triangle axes to be od then he is saying that this od is actually lying on this line xy so what we will do is we'll pick this whole uh, triangle up like this you can see that this this uh, finger of mine would be the one of the triangle axis so we'll just p uh, pick it up and keep it in this section that my this uh, this line which is the uh, which was actually the axis is actually lying on line xy so for that what i need to do is i need to mark a point on the line which i uh, which i do like in this way and then i'll what i'll next thing that i'll do is measure this measure this then this will be e this point would be e1 dash and d1 dash that is this point that i'm talking about i've taken this point here now i'm going to mark this point o dash somewhere around here this was a measurement that i took from e to o so from here i will again cut an arc on this line now this point that i have uh, derived is point o which will be marked as point o1 dash okay yeah then what next i need to do is i need to uh, draw the lines i need to draw this line uh, wait measure this the angle between this line and this line and the base which comes down to around say uh, 112 degrees so what i'll do keeping here i'll again uh, 112 degrees i'll draw a straight line again just to take the measurement a to e and i will cut here so this comes as a1 dash and b1 dash the next point is c dash f dash c1 dash and f1 dash so now i will complete my pyramid using my black sketch pen so this is uh, something of the sort that i'll gain now the next uh, what thing uh, we have to do is that we have to uh, carry the projections downwards and carry the projections horizontal and vertically downwards and horizontally rightwards to have uh, the co uh, coinciding figure for this uh, when it is lying on its base so first i will draw horizontal lines this both the lines come in a single thing so i'll this is this is the center again i'm just drawing the lines to make this you just have to understand don't look at the perfection of the figure in this sense because i have my uh, limitations in drawing this now what i'll search e and uh, this is e and d so where is e and d lying e is lying here and d is lying here so these are the two points which i will receive as these are the two points and this will be 
e1 and this will be d1 okay next thing c dash and f dash where are my c and f c and f are on this line and this line so i will mark the points this is these are the two points this is f1 and this is c1 the next is a and b so a and b a and b again lies on this two lines uh, okay i'll just remove my hand a and b a is coming from this line and uh, b is coming on this line so it will lie in this way So this is D1 and this is E1. So I'll complete the base hexagon which will be looking in this form. If I connect all the points, this is the hexagon that I have derived. Okay. The next, I'll just draw the line. This is towards the center. This is O, so this is the center. And now I will connect all the lines. See, now 1, 2, 3, and 4. These lines are visible lines. And these two lines are the lines which are behind. So these will be the four visible lines which will be there. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Whereas, I'll have two lines which are drawing a different color so that you can see it and I'll draw it dotted these two lines are behind the uh, pyramid behind this hexagonal pyramid hence what has happened is that they are uh, invisible lines now what uh, the next thing that is given in the question is that if the base uh, edge one of the base that is we are going to take uh, ed and if this base is at an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the vp then what will be its inclination as you can see in the last line of the question draw the projection of the pyramid when the edge of the base which is an hp is inclined at uh, 60 degrees to vp so we need to uh, have this edge uh, that is ed uh, yeah ed which is in uh, hp has to make an angle of 60 degrees with respect to VP the first thing that we will do is uh, for making an angle with VP we will take a point and then we'll measure an angle we'll measure the angle uh, oh sorry it's, it's going to be downwards measure angle 60 degrees and then just uh, at a straight line just make a point uh, make a line straight away and I will mark this as 60 degrees 60 degrees now I need to place this figure this figure as it is on this line first I'll put this hexagon for putting this hexagon what I need to do is again I will take one point and I'll take that point as F I'll take this point as F now I will measure the distance of C you'll be able to see FC is the distance now I will put this point here and cut an arc on this line. So I have two points, one this and one here, which are actually F2 and the next one is C2. Now I need to mark uh, these points uh, B and C. C. I made a, this is B1 and B1, D1, E1 uh, e and A1. So these are the points that I need to mark. Oh, sorry, this is D itself. This is B and this is A. That's I. Uh, that's what I need to do. Okay. So again, I'll have uh, these are these are exactly uh, centimeters apart. So I'll draw two lines, which are one centimeter apart from each other. And then putting my this here, I'll 
these two are points are same you'll be able to see these this point is same and if I measure this point it's also same so I will using here I'll cut one arc on this line and one arc on this line so I have two points one is this one is this I'll just measure the distance this is also same and this is also same so again putting at C2 I'll cut an arc here and I'll cut an arc here so I have all the six points of my hexagon now I'll name them this okay this is E2 this is D2 this is A2 and this is B2 and now I will complete the hexagon now uh, what I need to mark is the point O so for point O I will do this I will take the distance of E oh, I have this sorry this is O1 so I now I need this point O1 uh, here so from E1 I will measure the distance of O1 right and E on put it on E2 and make an arc the next thing I'll put on D1 and measure the distance of O which is same so again I will have this so this point that I have derived is uh, my necessary point which is O and now I will connect them here again similar there will be four uh, lines which will be visible and the rest of them would be uh, the rest of the two will be dotted lines which are actually behind uh, the pyramid again I'll take them in blue so that they are quite easily visible 